Hey guys, we are Ecraft Geeks and we bring you another vlog to teach you some more. Yes, filters aren't over yet. In previous videos, we studied about the passive filters and today we are going to learn about the active filters. In the RC passive filter tutorial, we saw a basic first order filter circuit such as the low pass and the high pass filter that can be used to attenuate the unwanted frequency in the signal by using just two components that is resistor and capacitor. We also noticed that the main disadvantage of the passive filter is that the amplitude of the output signal is less than that of the input signal that is the gain is never greater than the unity and that the load impedance affects the filter characteristics. With passive filter circuit containing multiple stages, this loss of signal amplitude called attenuation can be quite severe. One way of restoring or controlling the loss of signal is by using amplification through the use of active filters. Active filter contains active components such as operational amplifiers known as op-amps, transistors or FETs within the circuit design. They draw their power from the external power source and use it to boost or amplify the output signal. Op-amp has a high input impedance, a low output impedance and a voltage gain determined by the resistor's network within a feedback loop. So guys, let's begin with our first filter that is active low pass filter. The principle of operation and frequency response is exactly same as those of previously seen in the passive filter. The only difference this time is that it uses an op-amp for amplification and gain control. The simplest form of low pass filter is to connect a non-inverting or inverting amplifier to the RC low pass filter circuit as shown. The amplifier is configured as the voltage follower giving it a DC gain of 1. AV is equal to 1 or unity gain as opposed to the previous passive RC filter which has DC gain of less than 1. The advantage of this configuration is that the op-amp's high input impedance prevent excessive loading on the filter output while its low output impedance prevents the filter's cutoff frequency point from being affected by changes in the impedance of the load. While this configuration provides good stability to the filter, its main disadvantage is that it has no voltage gain above 1. However, Although the voltage gain is unity, the power gain is very high as its output impedance is much lower than its input impedance. If a voltage gain is greater than 1 is required, we can just do the following filter circuit. Gain of the first order low pass filter. Voltage gain is equal to V out divided by V in. Over here, the formula is AF divided by the whole root of 1 plus F divided by FC the whole square where AF is equal to the passband gain of the filter F is the frequency input while FC is the cutoff frequency thus the active low pass filter has a constant gain AF from 0 Hz to the high frequency cutoff point FC at the FC, the gain is 0.707 AF and after FC, it decreases at the constant rate as the frequency increases. That is, when the frequency increased by tenfold, that is one decade, the voltage gain is divided by 10. This formula represents the voltage gain in terms of decibel. AV 20 log V out divided by V in to the base 10. The figure shows the practical characteristics of the active low pass filter. If the external impedance connected to the input of the circuit changes, this will change the effect of the corner frequency of the filter. 
components connected in series or parallel. One way of avoiding this is to place the capacitor in parallel with the feedback register R2. Fc is equal to 1 upon 2 pi Cr2. As with the passive filter, a first order low pass active filter can be converted into second order low pass filter simply by using additional RC network in the input path. The frequency response of the second order low pass filter is identical to the first order type except the stop band roll off will be the first order filter at 40 dB per decade. When cascading together filter circuit to form high order filter, the overall gain of the filter is equal to the product of each stage. For example, the gain of one stage may be 10 and the gain of second stage may be 32 and the gain of third stage may be 100. The overall gain will be 32,000 that is 10 into 32 into 100 as shown below.